Hey guys, this is Pastor Bell with just a quick word. And today I want to address one of the suggestions I got uh, as I asked for topics that you all might like to hear for just a quick word. Uh, now this one was that we hear so much about divisions uh, between uh, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity. What are some of the things that we share in common? Now a real comparison between the world's three major religions would take more than three to five minutes. It would take uh, really a whole class to dive deep into those faiths. But one thing I want to focus on for this video is something I, I think that all religions hold in common, particularly these three. These are three of the Abrahamic religions. They all trace themselves back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I've learned that from living here in Palos Heights, where we have this wonderful diversity of faith, of ethnicity. Uh, we have immigrants from around the world who are here living and working and raising their families. And what I've noticed, particularly with kids and with adults, is, uh, or with parents in particular, is that what parents want most, regardless of religious background, is to be able to raise their kids uh, in peace uh, and quiet, to be able to take them, you know, maybe down to the pool and whether they're wearing, uh, mom's wearing a bikini or a burkini, and regardless of what the kids are wearing, uh, they just want to be able to go and swim and enjoy uh, the beautiful amenities we have here. My kids go to school with people from different faith and religions. And what I've noticed about kids is one, they don't get so caught up in the differences between them. They just learn how to play well together, how to work together on school projects, how to make friends. And, and I think that's what a lot of kids want is to be able to play and make friends and, and learn and grow uh, in peace and love. And finally, I think that for the most part, what these three major religions look for is how are you living at peace with God and your neighbor? Maybe you have slightly different names for God, but all seem to trace back to the God uh, who created the heavens and the earth. And so they seek to fill out what we as Christians would call that commandment of love your neighbor as yourself. And that is what I see as the biggest commonality we have between uh, the big three Abrahamic religions. We seek to love God and love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Uh, that's how we would word it as Christians. I imagine people in Judaism or Islam would word it a little bit differently. Now, are there extremists in each of those religions? Absolutely. And that's a danger we need to continue to combat, whether we're talking about ISIS or the Klan or other extremist groups. Are there jerks in every religion? Absolutely, and you meet them every day. And sometimes, sometimes I'm the jerk in Christianity. I try not to be, but it happens. But overall, I think what most people, again, in Christianity, in Islam, and in Judaism, the common thing that they are seeking is to be able to live in peace and, and relative prosperity, be able to raise their children um, in their faith, but also to be able to uh, grow and thrive and learn. And what most kids want to be able to do, again, regardless of religious background, is to be able to play and enjoy life, to make friends with one another. And I think following their lead, that's the best way we can continue to live out that greatest commandment that Jesus gives all of us, which is to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And in doing so, we will love our God. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you continue to send me suggestions and I'll do my best to, to address them or answer them. And we will see you next time. God bless. Bye now.